What's good, Hustle Squad, and welcome to another video. So if you follow my Instagram page, you know last week we covered calories, um, a caloric deficit, a caloric surplus, um, and things of that nature to calculate our fitness goals. We also cover what is called a BMR or our basal metabolic rate. What? All your BMR is, is the amount of energy which your body expends to maintain your physique at rest. So say for instance, if I woke up in the morning and I just sat in bed all day, my body still needs a certain amount of calories in order to function properly. For my heart to pump, for it to break down the food that I did consume, and things of that nature. So, we're gonna be using what's called the mifflin St. Gior equation. Now I went ahead and used the men's equation because I am the man, but for the women and the ladies out there, you know what I'm saying? Um, this little asterisk right here, all you have to do is change the equation in one part, which is down here. So if you're a woman, instead of adding five, you would simply substitute that plus five for subtracting 161. So I went ahead and plugged my numbers in right here. As you can see, I did 4.536 times 180 pounds, which is roughly what I weigh right now. Um, then you're gonna add 15.88 times your height in inches. I'm roughly six foot two inches tall, so that's 74 inches. And then you're gonna subtract five times your age. I'm currently 28 years old, so I put 28 right there. I already did the math with a calculator. So we came up to about 1,856 calories is what I would need if I didn't get out of bed and I didn't do anything. That's what my body would need in order to maintain this. Now, that is only the first part of the equation, what you have to do in order to figure out your fitness goals. The next part is called the TDEE, -E, or your total daily energy expenditure. And that can vary based on your activity level throughout your day. So if you live a more sedentary lifestyle, then you're, of course you're gonna need less calories. If you're in the gym a little bit more, then you're gonna need more calories to maintain and build lean muscles and things of that nature. So we're gonna go ahead and get into part two of that. Let me go ahead and clear this board off. So once you calculate your BMR or the basic amount of calories that you would need in order for your body to sustain your current weight, you want to take um, your TDDE level. Um, basically, if you do little to no exercise, you do 1.2 times your uh, BMR calories. If you exercise lightly, you would do 1.375 times that number. And then for me, I work out probably moderately. So I would take this number times 1.55. So let's go ahead and do the math and see what we come out with. So instead of a decimal, I'm just gonna do a whole number. 1857, we're gonna round up because of the six. And we're gonna go multiply it by 1.55. And that will leave me with a total of 2,786 calories. If you guys can see that, I'll write it on the board as well. So, two, seven, eight, well, let's round it up to six. It's the total amount of calories that I would need based on my activity level. And this is basically, I think, three to five times working out a week. So if you don't work out that much, you will use a lower one. And if you work out more than that, or have like a constructioner's job or something that's more strenuous, where you have to use a lot more force and a lot more energy, you will use the bottom two. Once you have that, um, this should be your target goal of calories that you need based on the activity level. Now, this is where the math comes into play. If you wanna be in a caloric surplus, what you would do is, like for me, I'm trying to get to 200 pounds, so I would add roughly 250 to 500 more calories just to be safe on top of this number, and that would be my target goal. So let me add, mm, we'll start at 250, just so we're not too crazy plus 250 and that will leave me with a total of 3,036 calories a day which is what I will have to consume just to continue to put on weight I have to put on I have to eat more than that at least that 2,800 calories a day otherwise I won't gain any weight and I could potentially lose my gains now if you're looking to lose weight, you would do the opposite. And you would simply, you know, take that 2,800 and then you will subtract 
about 250 calories, 250 calories to 500 calories to, what you wanna do is at least weigh yourself once a week, at the end of the week, preferably. That way you can gauge whether or not you're putting on too much weight or if you need to add more calories to achieve those goals. Same thing with losing weight. You wanna start at a lower level, that way you're not starving your body or anything of that nature, and it will feel like a natural, you know, pace of shedding weight versus losing it drastically. You still have to maintain your energy levels to function throughout the day. If you start at a number and then drop like a thousand calories, that's not healthy and it's not safe. But basically, that's pretty much it. That's all the information that you need. So you guys are now certified to calculate your own BMR as well as your TDEE and achieve those gains. So yeah, that's about it for y'all, man. That's, that's pretty much the video. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always available to answer any questions that you may have or help out with any type of fitness goals that you guys may want to achieve. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Send this video to a friend, somebody that may be trying to lose weight or gain weight and really don't know where to start. This information can be useful. So thanks for tuning in. Catch y'all next time. Peace. Motivate. Get money. Motivate. 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 Mot